Okay, y'all, I am ready. I'm not going to do the contacts today because, I mean, I'm going out with family. I don't really feel like really doing that. But besides the fact that I hate this wig, I do love my outfit. And I'm about to see one of my favorite cousins. Like, you got to understand, this is my twin. We used to really look alike before we got a little thick. But this is my spiritual twin. Like, this is my spirit animal. I'm the calm one. She is not. And when she's the calm one, I am not. Like, we we match. God knew what he was doing when he put me together with this one, when he made us cousins. Our, um, our dads are brothers, and they look alike a lot. I look just like, I like a mixture of my dad and my uncle, and my son looks exactly like my dad. So, I'm super excited. I will encourage you, like, if you're watching this video and you haven't talked to your family, pull up on them. Because, as we saw with Kobe Bryant dying, you never know, bro. You never know when you won't be able to make that phone call. So, we just have to pray and believe God that, you know, you protect it and have some fun. Like, I know family get on our nerves and I know stuff happen, but in 2020, I'm making a conscious effort to get to know my family. Not what I heard, not what my feelings was in. Like, I forgive everybody. Like, I can't hold no unforgiveness in my heart because I want God to do something dope with me. I don't want to feel no kind of way. I don't want no problems. Just peace, man. Like, life is good. You know, skin glowing a little bit. Little twinkling and glisten. I gotta fix my eyes. I ain't do no eye makeup. That's why my face look funny. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix that. But I know this is a getting ready with me video. I just wanted to tell y'all, like, love your people. Even the ones that get on your nerves. You never know. How would you feel if something happened to them? Like, real spit. How would you feel? So you might need to, like, take all the pride out of it and just text them, like, I love you, man. Let's fix this. And if they say no, then, you know, the blood is off your hands. Ain't no problem. And, you know, pray for them. But they might say yes. And you might be able to pull up on them and have a litty little dinner like we're about to. You might be able, you know what I'm saying, to love them people. You don't know. But you won't know until you try. Don't be scared. Call them family members. Fry some chicken. Get together. You know, I got multicultural family, so I might say, make some baklava, make some spaghetti. Like, you you never know. But don't give up the opportunity to say, let's have a relationship, even if that relationship is strained, even if it's distant. Because I got some people that I'm not going to go sit in their house because we don't have that. But I'm able to forgive them in my heart. I'm able to show them love, honor, and respect if our paths cross and not feel no kind of way. And that's what it's about. When you have that olive branch, take it. Make the effort to be peaceful at all costs. 2020, there's no time for chaos. Make the declaration. As for me and my house, we're not only going to serve God, we're going to have fun. We're going to, you know, love life. We're going to love each other and we're going to crush these dreams. Have a good day, cousins. I'm a, um... I'm going to pick the video back up when I get to my cousin house and then I'm going to fix these eyes because I want to do something with my eyelids because she always super cute. So we got to be cute twins. This is my favorite cousin. I'm going to plead the fifth if anybody asks me that, but this is my favorite cousin. This is my sister before I had a sister. This is my baby. I love you.